Got it. Have okay. a good one. All right. Thanks. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this live special event of Tactical Insights for Trading Volatile Markets. Uh, my name is Zach. I'm one of the team here at Elliott Wave Options, and I'll be facilitating this session tonight with Rob Roy. Um, as always, we'll need to go over a few housekeeping details about the session, and then I'll introduce Rob uh, for this special event. Thank you all for attending. We are uh, live streaming on multiple platforms in addition to our, our Zoom audience. So uh, there will be questions um, addressed at certain portions throughout the session. And please feel encouraged to write in at any point. First and foremost, this is our live disclosure disclaimer agreement. If you've attended any of our live sessions previously, whether it might be a trade finder live or insiders meeting, then you've seen this. The main thing to take away from it is that we are not licensed investment advisors in the United States. So nothing is to be taken as personal investment advice. We do have this available to be read in full detail on our website, uh, or feel free to take a screenshot if you like. That's the main point to take away. So for this session, as you'll see circled on the screen, there's a couple methods for asking questions. Um, first and foremost, the raise your hand icon will notify me that you have a voice question. I can unmute your microphone and then you can have a real time conversation with Rob about whatever your question may be. We also have the Q&A window as well. So at any point throughout the session, please feel encouraged to write your question into that Q&A window. Um, so um, I support or myself can pass it through to Rob and he can give you his real time answer. Lastly, we have the chat window as well. So any support related queries I can handle in there and any, any interaction amongst other attendees on the call, please feel encouraged to use that window for that. Just make note that at the bottom, by default, it goes to host and panelists. Be sure to change that to everyone so everyone else can see your message. But again, um, I will be around to handle any of the support related queries, which uh, there might be some questions along those lines that come up throughout the session. So please feel encouraged to, um, to write them in and I'll be happy to assist there. All right, that covers off all the important details. So I will get out of the way and introduce the man of the hour. That's Rob Roy. 
All right, buddy. Thanks, Zach. And welcome to this uh, special presentation. As Zach said, appreciate y'all being here. And if you wanted to see me, there I am. So, um, well, maybe not. Zach, you're going to have to let them see me if they want to see me. Otherwise, they'd probably be better off not. <laughs> uh, you should be able to now. Uh, apologies there, Rob. I was just <laughs> fixing the uh, chat window. Okay. There we go. Hey, everybody. How you doing? So welcome to this special presentation. We are live streaming it through the various social media platforms, as Zach said. And why are we doing this? Well, um, technical insights for trading volatile markets. As you know, the markets are pretty volatile. And I've actually had some calls from broker friends of mine uh, that are saying, hey, everybody's getting killed with the fact that the market goes up one day, down the next, and we're not going anywhere. But you guys are doing pretty well. What are you doing? So we thought, hey, why don't we just go ahead and tell everybody? Zach's already been through the part about how to ask a question. I will stop a couple times throughout the presentation. Not going to take a whole lot of your time tonight, but do want to offer a couple insights uh, in addition to running through how we've been doing. So during the session, we'll do a review of our recent training alert results so you can see for yourself. Talk about our strategies that are working in these strange times. And uh, for uh, the insights, that's what the presentation's title is, Tactical Insights, for each of the strategies that we utilize here at LA Wave Options. We'll talk about the fact that, hey, in this market, you better be prepared to adjust trades. This is not a market where we just trend one way for a long period of time and you put a position on, let it run, and um, a few weeks later, whatever you take it off, market isn't like that. You got to be quick on the trigger uh, in this market and adjust where need be. Discipline, patience, and overtrading. What does that mean? Well, um, one of the things that uh, we don't do at LA Wave Options is send out alerts to our subscribers just to fill their inbox. If there's not a trade, no trade. There's an expression that I was taught um, by one of my mentors in the very beginning is sometimes the best trade is no trade. And if there isn't a clear cut picture, if your indicators aren't giving you a signal, don't resist um, the temptation or do resist the temptation to just put on a trade to have the trade. Uh, wait, don't do that. Wait till your indicators show you. And when markets whipsawing all over the place, Sometimes you have to be a little bit patient, but when you keep powder dry and the market does start to move into a trending pattern, then you're able to uh, uh, capture gains in a relatively short period of time. But if you shut yourself in the foot and you don't have any capital left, then you're in trouble. Right now, some strange things have been going on in the market over the past year or two. It's not just this year. It was last year as well where we started seeing this where uh, volatility will be added to the options. I'm not just talking about the VIX now, but volatility be added to the options and then taken out. And I've had even some of our subscribers that have been putting on trades on their own that have been right on direction. Uh, and yet the options haven't gained value. In some cases, they've lost value. And they're saying, what is going on? Why is that happening? So it's an unusual time. I'll give you a few reasons why that is uh, when we get to one of the strategies that is really working in that environment. And then some shorter term things we have picked and choose, chosen a little bit here and there on uh, overbought and oversold conditions. Those are short term moves, which work really well in this environment. So that's it. Let's talk about our trailer performance for June. So as you can see over on the left hand side, that's the graph there that shows the growth of the portfolio. Down in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see LA Wave Options uh, went live to alert subscribers in January of 2018 and started with a um, advised portfolio of $5,000. And you can see where the growth has been since then, uh, moving to the upside. June, just for June, was a positive month as well, where we realized $964 in profit or a 29.3% average trade return on investment. We update these figures every single month on our website. We feel that we are as transparent as anyone can possibly be. We even have mark-to-market graphs on our website that show you where every one of our alerts are at the end of every single trading day. So it's not just the end of the month that we update things. You know where you are throughout the process. And these figures are based on trades closed during uh, our uh, LA Wave option strategies, 
but not including speculative trades. What does that mean? Well, we actually have a portfolio that's not shown there. You can see the growth of the impulse volatility and time portfolios. Those are our three primary time uh, or uh, three primary uh, portfolios that we have alert portfolios, but we also have a speculative portfolio. And that's when we do some of that short-term stuff. The three uh, main portfolios are based on specific searches that we share with our subscribers and we let them know, here's the criteria, this is what we're doing. Obviously, Elliott Wave is a basis for everything that we do, but we have supporting indicators for everything else. Our time strategy is actually AI based. So it's based on uh, artificial intelligence, uh, programmers that are traders as well. We feel like we're leading the field there because we've got a strategy that's been out uh, for quite some time when CNBC is just talking about that's the future of technical analysis. We're already doing it and have a subscription uh, for our alert subscribers. They can get alerts from that. So uh, you can see from the beginning to where we are now, but the speculative portfolio, that's something that's by, um, you know, just here's something that uh, over experienced. this looks overbought, this looks oversold. But the alerts that are sent out are not based on one of those three specific strategies. So it's up to our subscribers if they choose to take those or not, but they are not included in our figures. So just wanted to clarify that. All right, so here's what our, uh, our strategies are. We have level one, which is our time strategy. That's our AI-based strategy. And that's the one that works well in this environment because of the fact that we are now capturing volatility crushes. So if there's a spike in volatility, we set up these spreads. I'll go through them with you uh, in a couple minutes where we're actually able to capture when the market makers pull that volatility down. That makes a profit for us where if you're long, if you're buying calls, buying puts, which the majority of traders are doing, uh, a volatility crush is painful. Um, but we have flipped the script to where we can take advantage of that. And that's what you have to do. You have to examine What's going on in the market? What are the market makers doing? How can we be on that side of the coin, not on the typical retailers side that are getting hurt in this market? And you can see for the month of June, we generated a $442 profit on our closed trades for an average return of 20.8% on each of those alerts. Now, level two includes our volatility strategy. And you would think, well, that should be doing really well right now. Well, volatility strategy is strangles. It's our uh, patented way of doing strangles, which I, uh, I shouldn't say patented because it's not officially patented. Uh, it's unique, um, but it's a strategy that I came up with, my claim to fame in the world of trading options, written a book on it that exists out there. And it's when a stock goes into a consolidation, very particular way of doing a strangle where we set the delta and the gamma to where they are mathematically best positioned to make money on a breakout of the stock. The problem is when the VIX is above 25, it's not the greatest strategy because the options are priced too high. And even if you get a breakout and they drop that volatility, that's one of those long volatility positions that I was just talking about. So you can see we didn't do any of those. And that's where you, it's a great strategy. There's been lots of triangles. It's been tempting, but you don't want to put a position on where you have the opportunity to be right and still lose money. So we're patient there. The time will come back. The VIX dropped back below 25 in today's trade. So we get that VIX back down towards 20. You're going to see those everywhere because the market has gone nowhere for the past month or so uh, back and forth. And there's triangles all over the place. So if we get the VIX down, that'll be a great um, situation. The impulse portfolio is our directionally based portfolio. That's been carrying the ball, but good support there from the time strategy. That's level three, which basically includes all of the portfolio. So level one is just the time strategy. Level two is time and volatility. And level three is everything, including the directionally based impulse portfolio. And you can see the orange here as far as, you know, you get the direction right. You're going to make more money doing that than in anything else in the world of trading. That's just the way it is. And for us, it worked out that way for June as well. $522 profit. Look at that, a 55% average return on the trades for the month of June. So let's take a look at these individual strategies that I just mentioned. So first one, level one is the time strategy. That's the AI based strategy. So what do I mean by the AI based? Well, we look for stocks that are expected to stay in a trading range. Well, how do we know that they're expected to stay in a trading range? Well, the stock has had a significant drop. Doesn't have to be from an earnings report. Often it is, but bad news, 
whatever, the stock has a significant drop. 20% or more is what we're looking for. And then the AI steps in once it identifies these. It has over 300 data points the AI looks at, over 300 data points. And then it gives us a score of what's the idea or what's the reality, the expectation of that stock staying within one standard deviation following the drop. If it does, then we can put on one of those strategies that you can see there, a diagonal spread, a calendar, a butterfly. Those strategies are all combinations of long options and short options. And the short options, that's where you capture that volatility spike on the drop. And then as the stock stays in the trading range, as the AI tells us it's likely to do, we profit from that. So these are not home run trades. They're good, consistent, profitable trades. Um, that don't have a lot of risk in them. So the drawdowns are very minimal, even if the stock is moving outside of the range. Uh, but it's been an amazingly successful strategy. I'll show you the track record here in a second. But we're profiting from both that IV. So it says IV rush and crush. Now, what that means is that the IV rushes in on the drop. We sell that. And so we profit as that IV crushes back down. And then time decay, because there's an option that's being sold. Time decay is one of the givens in trading. You're buying options. You're suffering from theta decay every single day. Well, how do you fix that? Sell something. But if you just sell options on their own, it's called selling naked. Extreme amount of risk. We don't do that at LA Wave Options. We protect it by having a long option. And depending on uh, whether or not we have it out further in time or uh, in a different strike, whatever, uh, diagonals, calendars, uh, butterflies in the same month, et cetera, whichever strategy, we've got a mathematical spreadsheet that tells us which strategy is best for that given situation. So let's take a look at the time strategy in action here. So we use puts most of the time. Why? Because we all know stocks move down faster than they move up. So when a stock has a drop, they're going to spike the volatility in the puts more than they all in the car more than they are in the call. So we do these uh, put uh, calendar spreads or capturing them. So buy a long put, sell a short put. So we buy the put further out in time, sell the short put. The premium that we bring in from the short put allows us to bring that graph up. So we reduce the risk on the long option due to the premium that we've brought in. And this is what a calendar spread is. When you buy that long option further out in time and you sell the short option, why the difference in the times? Because they spike the volatility more on the near month options. Why? Because that's where the majority of traders trade. So you can buy a long-term option as protection further out in time. You don't have the IV spike, so you're not paying for the volatility, but you sell the short-term option, the near month or front month option, and you're collecting that premium. Makes sense? Right, so you collect that short term premium, but you're not paying for it on the one that you have for protection. So you're protecting the position to the downside and you're collecting that IV because after that IV rushes in, it will slowly crush back down throughout the month. And so that's how the strategy works. That's what the risk graph looks like of a calendar spread. You can see where the lower and uh, upper break evens are, all of that range. All the stock has to do is stay somewhere in that range and the position generates a gain. So we don't have to have the stock stay dead center. It can move around, it can oscillate. It's got a big window. Just stay in that window somewhere and we generate a gain. If it moves out of that window, that's where we have our risk and potential loss. But as you can see, it's minimal. Notice the curve on the underneath of the zero line. If you haven't seen a risk graph before, that's it. The vertical axis is profit loss. The horizontal axis is the stock price. Well, we can make it a little bit easier for you to understand by turning the graph onto its side. So you turn it onto its side here and you can see that we're looking for, boom, stock had a drop. Doesn't matter why it dropped, it just dropped. And then from there, what's the expectation of it staying in a trading range? from that point. And that's where the AI comes in after analyzing those 300 data points and gives us an idea, hey, this one's likely to stay in one standard deviation. Now, uh, we don't have to have it stay in one standard deviation to still generate a gain. When you look at the risk graph like this, where those lines are drawn, that's actually a little bit more than one standard deviation. So there's a little bit of wiggle room even outside that one standard deviation where we can still generate a gain. 
pretty cool, huh? So that's our time strategy. And that's what's really been working. You can see here now you look at this and you're like, well, man, you got off to a great start. And that's what happened in 2021 when we started sending alerts out to our subscribers. Look, immediately, boom, straight to the upside on the profitability. And then since then, it's been a slow, steady rise. Well, why aren't we still going vertical like we were before or vertically like we were before? Volatility. One of those data points is the VIX. Looking at market volatility. Remember, the AI is an analyzing and giving us a score. Now, the AI is giving us results every single day, but we hold back and we are pretty restrictive on a particular score on the IV uh, before we will actually send out an alert uh, or our AI, excuse me, a particular score on the AI before we'll send out an alert to our subscribers. So there's been plenty of opportunities. We've just said, hey, we got our disciplines. We're only looking for a high score potential to stay in that trading range. And with the VIX being so volatile, you've heard me, if you've watched any of these commentaries, any of these videos, you know that I've talked numerous times about the fact that uh, I've never seen the VIX stay this high this long. And you can go back historically and see that. Uh, well, I mean, volatility in the markets is going to affect whether a stock stays in standard deviation. So there hasn't been quite as many results, but you can see we're still growing. Look at 2022. Haven't had a losing month. A break-even month in May, but not a losing month. But look at the possibilities. Look what was happening at the end of 2021. Look at those months and those returns. And uh, so, you know, you look at 2022 and you say, yeah, well, you haven't been doing as well as 2021, but with what everybody else that I'm hearing has been doing this year, have your results been like that? That's ah, pretty impressive. And we still feel really good about this strategy. Plus we know the VIX is not gonna stay around 35 forever. At some point we'll get that VIX back down towards 20 or so, and then we will start to see a lot more results. Those returns are mostly based on the fact that there just hasn't been the number of alerts sent out as there were before. It's not like they're not working, they're still working, it's just there's not as many of them. So you don't have as great a return each month. So what we're doing with the time strategy is we're harvesting premium from the markets, calendars, diagonals, butterflies. As I mentioned in the intro, you may have to be prepared to make an adjustment. Well, look what happened here on this calendar spread. Uh, here's an example of one of our AI-based trades. This was sent out to an alert as an alert on our uh, website to all of our time strategy subscribers and look what happened here. So the entry was on April 22nd. And then you can see we made an adjustment on May 20th. Now you look at that adjustment, you're like, whoa, yay, yikes, 2000. I don't have $2,000 to make an adjustment. Calm down just for a second. Look at the two days, adjustment one, adjustment two, both the same date. Adjustment one was $2,000 going out, but adjustment two, done at the same time, if possible. Now we have a lot of newer subscribers and people that are newer to the world of options uh, at LA Wave Options. And so I try to make things as simple as possible. I could have combined those two and then the net adjustment was $450. So forget that $2,000 number, it was $450. We try to keep every alert at $500 or less. That's our goal. So it doesn't take a lot of money to trade with us. Um, so it was $450 was the adjustment, not those numbers. I just separated it into two steps. But if you're a bit more sophisticated and you wanted to make it just one spread, you could have sent it to your uh, broker in one order if you wanted to. Again, I just separated it out just to try to uh, ease any confusion. And it worked great. You can see we generated nearly a 50% return. Now, it took 49 days. The average on the time strategy is around 21 days. That's about the amount of time it takes to collect that IV crush and to get some time decay in our favor. So going out 49 days is about twice as long as normal, but we're in a weird market. I think everybody would agree with that. But in general, um, it's a recent one. You can see just ended June 10th. So very recent uh, example here, but it shows you what the adjustment process can do. And you know it works out extremely well. So. Let's go through some tips for adjusting trades. Uh, you have, people ask me this all the time about adjustments. Adjustments are not chasing a trade. It's two completely different things. And so it, it's not really a super simple answer. 
uh, and it's not a uniform answer for every single trade. Every trade is different. So we're trading based on what the pattern is telling us. If the pattern is unclear, we won't make an adjustment. We'll just close the pattern out or close the trade out and move on. But I've never believed in subscribing to a system where if you generate X number of loss, you just close the position out and move on. To me, that's like death through a thousand cuts. If there's a clear cut pattern, why do you want to walk away from it just because it's at a loss? If you look at this adjustment here, that was at a 55% loss at one time. So somebody that was following a system of I exit if I have a 50% loss missed out on a 50% gain. So it makes that makes no sense to me. You have to look at every single position on its own merit. And so every adjustment may be slightly different if an adjustment is warranted. Like I said, if there's no adjustment, we're not going to make one just for the hell of it. So if it's there, we'll do it. If not, then we'll close the position out. So you have to update your outlook for every trade based on what happens. And we know things change. So recoup the initial loss or profit in a manner maybe slightly different than what the original alert was or intent was. And I'm sure that some of you have heard of plan your trade and follow your plan. Okay, that sounds great. But what if the stock changes? What if things don't go as planned, which they often don't, and they haven't been since the entire year of 2021 and 2022. If you're not prepared to adjust, I think you're going to really struggle in this market and you need to know what to do. How do you adjust? What's going on? Where is the Greeks in the options? If you don't know all that stuff, maybe you want to consider being a subscriber with you because we educate uh, you on those things. We are uh, an educational company as well as an alert company. And we really pride ourselves in the education that we provide for our alert subscribers. So they understand what we're doing. And, you know, if trading options was easy, everybody would do it. I believe not everybody agrees with me, but I believe nothing worth having comes easy. You've got to put the time in. You've got to spend the time learning. You've got to go through the educational process. Now, the market will be happy to teach you, but that's a very expensive lesson if you learn through making mistakes through the market. It's much easier to gain the education from people that have been doing it for a long time and have been trading for over 25 years. So the knowledge of options is a big deal. So I'm going to stop now. And see, Zach, if you have any questions, if you have interest in our service, I haven't even gotten into the rest of it yet. That's just the time strategy, but that's the one that's been generating all the, uh, the chatter because everybody is so excited about AI, right? We know that's the future, not just in the world of technical trading, but in our futures as well from technology, et cetera. So um, that's just, we, we still have two more to go real quick. But if you have questions regarding uh, any of our services, there's a phone number, there's an email that you can go to. Make sure you ask for Stephen. Okay, so it's not on there. We don't do uh, annual subscriptions. You, you don't have to commit to a year in advance. Any of those things, kick the tires for a month. Um, there's no minimum terms. You know, try it. You don't like it for a month. We make it as easy as possible to cancel. You can cancel. You don't have to call us and ask us to cancel. Don't you like those services where you got to call them and then they don't want to do it. And then they try to talk you for an hour on why you shouldn't. You, you don't even have to talk to us. You can cancel completely on your own. If for whatever reason, this is not for you. I don't, I don't think you'll experience that. I think you'd be really excited to be part of what we're doing here. And we've got really cool things coming from a software standpoint, et cetera. Uh, but we just want to make it to the point where, hey, it's easy. Try it for a month. You don't like it, then you can move on. But there's the information there on how you can find out more about our alert service, um, uh, our alert services. Uh, so, Zach, I'm going to stop right now, uh, give everybody, people, time to write those things down. Um, if there's any questions regarding the time strategy or anything that I've talked about so far, I'll take those now. If not, then I'll move in and we'll get into the other strategies. Absolutely. Yeah. So just a couple of questions at the moment, Rob. Uh, first one being from Will, um, which is a great question that I'm sure some others might be wondering out there, asking if uh, do we need margin to make these trades in a margin account? Oh, what an awesome question. Um, of the strategies, calendar spreads do not require margin. Butterflies do not require margin. If it's a diagonal, 
it does require margin. It's a fixed amount. So it's the width and the spread minus whatever, if it's a credit diagonal, whatever the credit comes in. Um, uh, so the width of the spread minus the credit. Um, if not, if it's a debit diagonal, then um, they charge the, the width of the spreads. I've argued with the powers that be. I used to be a, uh, um, well, it was, Uh, when I was a financial advisor, I, I was in compliance, a compliance guy. Um, so um, I've argued with all the compliance guys, um, it's a fixed risk trade. There shouldn't be margin, but that's the way it is. So great question. No margin on calendars, no margin on butterflies, or is a margin requirement on diagonals. And by the way, we calculate that into our results because we know that if you're putting money up for margin, that's just like money at risk. I know some services don't count that. They don't count margin in their returns. We do. So when you look at it, uh, if you really dive into our results, you'll see that our returns on diagonals are less than the other ones. That's because we're counting the margin that's in there. So we're doing it the right way, again, being very transparent. And by the way, if you are interested in this, I do have an offer for you at the end. So just hang around for another 10 minutes or so, uh, and I'll give you a really sweet offer. Um, that's the information on how to uh, contact uh, if you're interested in it. But, um, you know, I, I, I've got a nice offer for you. I'm a big believer, you know, if you listen to any of my uh, webinars on time, how valuable our time is, and I want to make this worth yours as well. So just hang in there for a few more minutes. Any other questions? Uh, just a couple more and I'll let you get back to it. Uh, just a, a funny one here from Jesse asking, well, Rob, where's the hat? <laughs> Good question. Um, actually, he's right here. <laughs> <laughs> I just decided I actually took a shower tonight. So I said, well, I won't put the hat on, but it's right here. If I want to put it on, I'll put it on for you. But thanks. <laughs> and, uh, uh, when I talk about how my strangle strategy is my claim to fame. I think the hat has taken over that with the whole Chuck Norris thing and everything. That's kind of more my claim to fame now. I think I would have to agree with you. There's definitely an association <laughs> there that uh, has become pretty popular. Um, so just the last things here, which we've kind of already addressed um, in the uh, Q&A here, but uh, it's just a question from Will saying, for someone who has a basic understanding of options, but hasn't done butterfly or strangle trades, are the alerts easy to understand? And just to quickly add to that, uh, I know we are diligently working on education uh, that we'll have available soon. So we'll have courses available um, included at no additional charge for our subscribers that'll be on butterflies, calendar spreads, um, all that great stuff that uh, is in line with the time strategy portfolio. So you just wanted to add something quickly to that. Yeah, we are going to go more in depth. We actually do have education on the site now based on our time strategy because it does include calendars, diagonals, and butterflies. So there is a general um, description of them. But I think what Zach's referring to is we have uh, education where we do premium education, which normally comes with uh, uh, the subscription. Thing, and, but we also have uh, deeper dive education where we really go into specific details. And that's what Zach's talking about that's going to be coming up on butterflies. And we get asked about it all the time, along with iron condors, et cetera. So we're going to do some really significant uh, instruction on there. However, to answer the specific question, yes, the alert comes out. It spells out what to do. So even if you think hey, I'm not fully um, comfortable with a butterfly, all you have to do is follow along what's on the screen when the alert comes out. And we send out our alerts via text and email both. Uh, or you can go to the website too if you wanna see even more information on every alert, they're instantaneously posted there. But um, just all you have to do is follow along with what we send out. And then we talk about this every Thursday night in our insiders meeting, uh, which is for alert subscribers only, where we go through and we talk about the open alerts and there's a live Q and A. We do 45 minutes of Q and A. So if you had a specific question and you know maybe you you looked at the uh, education that we have on the strategies with the AI and you have another question, you can ask a question directly to me on Thursday night and I'll do everything I can to explain it to you. So yes, there is a, a general description of everything that we do. And then there's really deep dives into a lot of stuff. The AI is the newest thing. And so as Zach said, we're going to have a really deep dive into butterflies, but there's general information there, but you don't even need that. If you want to follow along with the alerts, just follow along with uh, what's sent out to you uh, and, and, and you'll be just fine.
So, all right, so let's move into this. This isn't going to take very long in the volatility portfolio. I kind of talked about this already. We look for stocks that are consolidating. And as I mentioned, this is kind of how I made my claim to fame in the world of options. And this is a really true story that I used to tell when I was doing uh, live seminars before everything became web, web, you know, web-based webinars instead of seminars. Uh, I was in the shower and I started thinking about Delta. Now that's how obsessed with options I was. I'm in the shower and I'm thinking about Delta. I'm thinking about the Delta curve and I'm like, there's gotta be a way we can take advantage of the fact that that's not a linear move from lower left to upper right. It's a lazy S. And so there's a big vertical move in that S on the Delta. There has to be a way to take advantage of that. And the strangle strategy was the way to do it. You look for a stock that's consolidating in a triangle and you buy both the call and the put at the Delta just before that line goes vertically. All that is explained on our website. You have all the information there. We do have the deep information on that. The book is said uh, about it, et cetera. So it looks for triangles that are getting ready to break out. And we know that we are mathematically guaranteed to make money as fast as possible if the stock breaks out. So let me clarify that. I'm not saying we're mathematically guaranteed to make money. I'm saying we are guaranteed to make money as fast as mathematically possible if the stock breaks out of the triangle, which it does the overwhelming majority of the time. So now when the stock breaks out, often it goes vertically and you get a volatility rush in the options because it goes, whether it's vertically up or down, we don't care. It doesn't matter to us which direction it goes. So it's a very specific way of setting up a strangle. It's not what you would get on if you got on the internet and Googled strangle. It's not set up that way. It's set up differently. It's set up so that the Greeks are working in our favor as best as we can possibly set them up. And so if the stock breaks out up or down, usually it's a fairly vertical move. IV rushes in. We've already bought that. So then we're going to sell it afterwards. And so the fact that volatility was injected into it, we profit from that. Well, Here's the strategy, uh, and you can see that it's really cool. You like it when you got lines going for profitability both ways. Doesn't matter whether it moves to the upside or the downside. And note, the risk isn't that significant either because we're so far out of the money. You need to go out of the money in order to generate the deltas that we're looking for. So we do have risk. The stock does need to move. We don't care whether it moves up or down. If it doesn't, then we have limited risk. But if the stock does move, then we can generate a nice gain and we're not picky on the direction. So we're looking for stocks. They've been moving and they've gone into a consolidation. There's the triangle. So often a stock will make a directional move. It'll consolidate into a triangle. Typical Elliott Wave stuff right here. And then we're saying, all right, make a move. We don't care which way, up or down. You can see the green there. We generate a gain. It just has to move. And so that's a great strategy. It's worked really well, but you can see for recently, and look, for May and June, we haven't had any of them. And April was a losing month, but look, for January and March was a great month. So when you look at those, even though we haven't had any for May or June because the volatility has just been too high, the strategy is still profitable for the year of 2022. This has been the most underutilized strategy for this year due to the fact that the volatility in the market has just been so high. Yes, we want volatility. I don't want to confuse you, but we want volatility after we've bought in at low volatility. And when the VIX is between 25 and 35, the options are too expensive. So you risk having the stock break out. Then they crush the volatility down because it was already elevated to start with. So you don't get the volatility rush and then you don't generate a gain. So we're being patient. We're waiting until the VIX comes back down. But look at some of those returns. Look at February of 2020. You know what happened then, right? So the volatility was low, COVID, stuff started moving, but we already had strangles on before the volatility came. Generated 108% gain in just the month of February, 2020, because we bought the options lower, then the volatility came in. So that's the way to make money in the strategy, not the other way around. So you can see we're not getting hurt. It's just the fact that there just hasn't been really many opportunities. They will come back. The VIX will not stay between 25 and 35 forever. In fact, here's the VIX now. It's breaking back below 25 now. If we can get it down to 20, all of a sudden you're going to see a whole bunch of these come out. So don't buy the strangles when the volatility is high. 
they become profitable again, or they will in future market cycles as soon as we get the VIX lower. And understand that if there's no signals, your powder is dry. We're conserving capital. That's the key. Wait for the opportunities. Don't force things. When you force things in a market like this, that's when you get hurt. And so we're avoiding that. All right, last but not least, strategy three is our impulse strategy. That's the trending one. That's been uh, uh, doing very well. So it's been kind of the last few months, it's been the uh, impulse strategy directionally based, but quicker hits. Wait till you see the time that we've been in these um, because of the fact that you got to get in and out uh, with the, the zigzag and whipsaws that are going on. But I love the zigzag patterns. They're fantastic. They're only three waves long where you're used to a LA wave pattern being five waves. And I hear people saying all the time, but a zigzag is a corrective pattern. You can't trade that as an impulse. Oh, yes, you can. You, you absolutely can. Zigzags are located within Elliott wave, five wave impulse patterns are all over the place. And they usually have really nice moves, especially when you find a zigzag in a wave three. That's a very strong price move. And then we look for debit spreads, calls and puts. If the situation is right, if the options are cheap enough, they aren't always. And I've been, you know, especially now. And then butterflies, you can make butterflies directional. That was one of the things that my mentor taught me a very long time ago. You can place an out of the money butterfly. The risk is extremely small and the potential return is exponentially huge. So it's a very low risk, high potential return strategy. And normally if you're used to a butterfly, if you have more education, you think, well, you gotta be in that range, guess what? If you make the butterfly directional, you don't have to get it within the wings. All it has to do is move in your direction because the cost of getting in was so cheap, you still make a gain, even if the stock never gets up to the strikes. Really cool stuff. All right, so let's look at some general basic Ellie wave here. Talked about zigzag patterns. All impulse patterns start as a zigzag. That's what a zigzag is right there. It's three segments. You have an impulse move, a corrective move and an impulse move. And it's identified by an A, B, and C, not the typical one, two, three, four, and five that you're used to, but all impulse patterns start as zigzags. So you already can see that it's a shorter time frame. So identifying opportunities within an existing or a new, potentially new wave five pattern. There you go. That's what I was talking about. A zigzag went in the wave three. Every, I mean, if you know anything about LA Wave, you know that wave three is the strongest wave. Can you imagine if you have this little three wave segment, a zigzag within that strong wave? You have a high probability that the zigzag is going to do what it's supposed to do then because you're already in a very strong impulse wave within the pattern. And people challenge me this on YouTube all the time to say you can't do it. Oh, yes, you can. It works fantastically well. And then you have your wave four and five. And, you know, specific things can happen then. But here's the results for June from our impulse strategy. We only had two trades. Again, we've been more quiet than normal. But both the trades were winners. $522 total, a 55% average return on those. And 21 days average time in the trade. And then you can see down for the year of 2022, January was a losing month but been very good ever since then. February, March, April, May, and June, all really nice returns in our impulse strategy. So that's what that level three does is it includes all three of the strategies. So you get the time strategy and you get the impulse strategy. If you only do level one, then you just have the time strategy only. Look at these last trades within our impulse strategy. So I was talking about how we get in and get out very quickly. So even if your target hasn't been achieved, you look for, are we slightly overbought, are we slightly oversold? You, this is not the mentality where you stay for a long trending move. You get in, if you get a nice gain, get out. Look at these, six days. Now, the one trade there was 46 days, but look at the rest of them. So out of the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trades, six of those trades were less than one week. And you can see that that VLO trade says zero days. And like, how can you have a trade that's zero days? Well, the way the website works is that if the entry and the exit were less than 24 hours apart, even, um, for example, if we close it at 2 p.m. Eastern time, but it was open the previous day at 3 p.m. Eastern time, 
it hadn't been 24 hours, so it doesn't count as a day. So that's not a misprint. It was just we were in that trade less than 24 hours and generated nearly a 35% gain. Would you take that? 35% less than a day? I think you would. But you can look at that. You can see these trades. These are all June, July, August trades. So these are all recent trades. I'm not showing you stuff from two, three years ago. This is all recent. And this is how you have to be successful trading directionally right now, I believe. Get in, take your gain, and get out. You see an opportunity, go in and get it, and then turn around and get right back out. Now, in the speculative portfolio, I did want to share that with you because there's a really cool trade that I think everybody would be super interested in. Uh, time volatility and impulse, different strategies. Now, this is where the speculative comes in. If I see something that identifies as an overbought or oversold technique, you've heard me say, I would imagine if you've heard any of these numerous times, no security in any time frame gets very far away from the 10 day moving average. Well, what if we see something that short term overbought or oversold? Is there an opportunity there? This is Tesla. Look at Tesla. You can see this move to the upside here. That green line's the 10 day moving average. See the separation there? It's overbought. Now, this is not coming from the impulse strategy search. So the impulse strategy search is not saying, hey, this is a time to go short Tesla or buy puts on Tesla. But when you look at this, you can see that we gapped up. So there's one thing that needs to be fixed. That gap has to get filled. And you can see the separation from where Tesla was trading in the 10-day moving average. It's a short-term opportunity to buy puts or put on a put spread because Tesla is so expensive, a put spread may be what you need to do unless you have a really large account and just want to buy spreads or buy straight puts. But look at what happened. So the stock came back down, did what it was supposed to, filled the gap, came back and closed down that 10-day moving average, came down to the support level there at 980, got back to the 50-day moving average, time to take the trade off. And you can see what we did. We did do a spread because we have to stay within that $500 of risk per alert um, that we're committed to for our subscribers. But you, if you have a larger account and you just wanted to buy the straight puts rather than do a spread, you could have done that. Obviously, you would have generated a much higher return doing that, but we stay within our guidelines. You can see we only paid $426 for the spread and the spread generated a 26% gain in less than two weeks. And it was all just because you could clearly see Tesla was short-term overbought. That's all it was. It was short-term overbought. You expected to come back down. It did. The spread worked well. It did everything that you were expecting to do, generate a nice gain. That's the type of thing that you get in the speculative portfolio. But because it isn't based on one of our primary portfolios that we talk about, we don't report the results of the speculative portfolio. It's up to or individual subscribers, if they choose to take these or not. And it's noted as a speculative trade, hey, listen, we're looking at this. This is the reason why it doesn't follow all the criteria that's in the uh, other strategies. But if it's something you want to take a shot at, we got a little uh, uh, extra money for higher risk positions, then take a shot at it. So in conclusion here, the last bit of the markets have been pretty difficult. I think everybody would agree with that. Um, we have some areas where people are just saying, I have no idea what to do. Commentary on YouTube, et cetera, some of our social media outlets. Manage risk. Keep your powder dry. Don't get into that FOMO mode, fear of missing out, and start doing things that um, may be a little bit too risky, thinking that I'm not really trading much. I need to be in this market trading. Um, and you know, talking about volatility, just to update you, Tesla reported uh, earnings after hours, and it was all over the place. And then in the end, it's up about 10 bucks. But the zigzag move afterwards, the up and down were insane uh, with the movements. And then in the end, not a whole lot's happened. We'll see what happens tomorrow when it comes out. But that's the time to say, I don't want to get involved in that kind of stuff. Who knows what's going to happen? Who knows how the market's going to perceive Tesla with the whole Twitter thing going on and Elon Musk, et cetera. So manage your risk. And sometimes not doing anything is the best way to manage your risk. However, if you have the level three, we're going to diversify for you. So we have 
the diversity in the different portfolios. And normally what happens if one strategy isn't working, like right now, the volatility strategy isn't working because we're not doing alerts on it because the volatility is too high, the options are too expensive, but you saw the results from both the time strategy and the impulse strategy. So how can you participate in our alerts? If you're interested, you saw the contact information before. Um, you can see that our level three our subscription price for level three, which includes the time strategy, the volatility, and the impulse strategy, so that's all the strategies together, uh, is $189 a month. We send out our alerts via uh, SMS and email, or both if you want it. We have analytics. There's a chart with each alert that goes out that talks about why we got into it, what the plan is at the time. Again, telling you that, hey, plans could change, but the plan at the be, uh, entry of the trade, and you have access to other members on Thursday nights, as well as me. Every Thursday night, we do our insiders meeting. Our subscribers chat amongst themselves. They're really knowledgeable people. They ask wonderful questions, and we do a 45-minute Q&A with me uh, at the end. We have support on as well. If you have any sort of a uh, admin type question that needs to be answered, they're there to take care of you as well. And it includes all of our premium educational courses, which is our basic education on everything that we do. But I told you I had a special offer for you. Right now, we're going to allow you to save $100 on the first month. Again, this doesn't mean you're committing to a contract at all. It's just we'll give you the first month of level three for $89 if you sign up by the end of the month. So you need to reach out to Stephen in that information that I gave you. You can go through here, ewotrader.com slash get started as well. But it's a $100 discount on the three primary strategies and just wait, there's more, right? You know how this works. Uh, we are going to include all the mastery level courses. Those are the ones that I was talking about that are the deep dive. Now, normally the mastery level, uh, we charge an additional fee in addition to the subscription uh, because that's stuff that's really intense, really uh, deep education. Um, but we're going to throw that in. There's over 20 hours of education there. There's manuals that go with each of the courses. So you have that information forever. You can watch them as many times as you want. There's not a watch it one time and it's over. It's there. You can watch it as long over and over and over as many times as you want. Go through, use the manual. People really have loved those manuals. That's included for free. So that's a bonus that a normal subscription uh, doesn't allow. So it's a no brainer. Try it for a month. All three subscriptions, $89. You saw what we made, $964 in the month of June. And you're looking at $89. So it's almost a $900 gain for the month of June uh, based on uh, the results that we shared with you there. So what can be moving forward? Past performance, no guarantee of future results. You know how that works. But hey, you can see that June would have been a nicely profitable month. So well, you take advantage of it. Or 89 bucks. All right. So, Zach, um, I'll stay here for a few more minutes for a few other questions if people have them. Here's the information once again on how to get in touch with uh, Stephen. Uh, and he will uh, go through and help you get signed up and talk to you about if you don't want the level three, if you just want the AI strategy, he'll work with you there. So, anything that you're interested in, um, he can work through with you. Just gave you the example of the. Um, you know, the bonus deal there on the level three. So um, again, I think it's a no brainer, but utilize that information. If there's any other questions that I can answer, Zach, I'm happy to do that. Yeah, Rob, just a couple of questions, but first I'd like to say, uh, I think we should ask anyone that's uh, watching on all the various uh, platforms to uh, go ahead and give us a like if they're enjoying the content so far. Uh, you know, it always helps those things go a long way. Yeah, thank you, appreciate that, it really does. All right. Um, so we do have a question from Willie West on YouTube. Um, this might be more of a question that would be for a better for a trade finder or insiders. Um, just asking, how can you take advantage of surprise world events? So if you maybe want to give a brief answer there. Well, um, if there's a surprise, so let's do it in two different ways. If a surprise world event comes out and the market reacts and freaks out, well, that may be an opportunity for the time strategy, right? Whether it is a calendar spread um, where we sell that short-term freak out volatility, right? Uh, on an, an unexpected world event, but we're protecting it with a long-term where we're not paying that same volatility. So that could be an opportunity for that, you know, maybe it's not just uh, an, an initial drop, 
um, you can sell that volatility and protect it without paying for it. That's the gen the difference between those two um, is how you make money. That's the explanation that you'll get in the education is you're paying X for volatility. You're selling Y at volatility. The difference between what you paid and what you sold, that's the potential gain that you have in addition to the time decay that occurs because you're going to have more time decay in your favor on the short option than you're spending on the long option. So those are the two benefits. Now, let's say you have a position on and then a surprise world event comes on. Well, that's what happened in February of 2020 to our strangles, right? Nobody knew that all this COVID stuff was going to happen. Volatility was low. The market had tooled up in January. The VIX was really low. We had lots of strangles on. All of a sudden, boom, COVID happens and everything went crazy. And all of those strangles made great money on the puts as the market tanked. So that's one way that you can take advantage of it ahead of time. Now let's say something happens now. Like right now, when the VIX is already elevated and something comes out and um, do we get overbought or do we get oversold? So you get some sort of an unusual announcement. The market reacts and overreacts as it always does. Maybe you go overbought, oversold, and we do a short term speculative trade to take advantage of that overbought, oversold condition. So you see. We, we're set up with all the different strategies, which is why we highlighted the level three in the presentation for no matter what happens to take advantage of it. So we really do feel that we have every condition covered, even the unexpected. Great question. Absolutely. And I just wanted to make sure I passed through all the thanks that we're getting on the various platforms, both YouTube and Zoom. Uh, a lot of people are saying it's a great deal and are thankful for it. Um, there's another question I here. Everybody's time. Absolutely. Yes. Time is Most very we want valuable. It. We want to help people. I know it's a struggle out there right now. I know it's, it's, it's not easy right now. There's no question there. Um, so we have a question here from Matthew, which I think will be better addressed from Stephen. As you mentioned earlier, the contact information is visible on the screen now, just asking about what the prices will be after this special. So again, we'll leave that to Stephen um, for uh, further information on that. Well, then, the, the level three will go back to 189. Um, as far as the individual ones, yeah, uh, get in touch with Stephen, as you said, Zach, and he can talk to you about uh, or talk to him about uh, the individual one. So yeah, that's special just to be super clear is only till July 31st. So it's short term. It's a hundred dollars off plus over 20 hours of really, really top notch. Um, and we're not just saying that we, we've gotten a lot of really good comments about our education. We have people that uh, have just bought the education. They didn't even become alert subscribers. They just got onto our website and paid for the education and we're throwing that in for free. That is, that is hundred percent true. That is a, a great deal indeed. And so these last two things that I will um, pass through to you is just I wanted to make sure I uh, pass through this comment from Howard saying I kept my grandmother up two hours past her bedtime for this. She's 97 and <laughs> has a crush on Rob when he wears his hat. She's oh, very, damn, very I should have had the hat on. I'm sorry, <laughs> Grandma. I promise yeah. next time I'll have the hat on. Um, yeah, so maybe uh, you then. can get her to watch again, Howard, and oh. we'll have his, his Chuck hat ready. My apologies. Um, so lastly here, we have a question from um, Carl on Zoom, which um, we kind of already talked about, but just – uh, to for a brief review, just asking if you teach the different strategies, which we we certainly do. We have tons of education on all of our strategies and uh, continuing to add more courses. Yeah, not only do we teach that, we have our uh, options accelerator class. So if you're newer, um, it's designed for those that really need you know some real basic education to get going. Um, that's a live class that you can take every week. Um, and then yeah, there's so many. Um, they're just hours upon hours of, and we're constantly adding more to it. We're not done. We're not going to stop. We're going to keep adding to it because the world of options is, is massive. And I can tell you this, that if you, if you don't gain the understanding that you need and you try to go out there and trade, I promise you it is not as easy as looking for uh, stocks that have uh, a high short rate uh, and you're looking to stick it to the guys uh, on a short squeeze. Uh, obviously I'm referring to, you know, the whole meme phenomenon that uh, has gone away. It's just simply not that easy. Um, but 
if, if you take the time and make the commitment, again, nothing worth having comes easy to learn and gain the education, trading is a wonderful life. Um, you can enhance your current income. You don't have to become a full-time trader, but maybe that is your goal. Um, but, you know, if you want a little extra money and learn how to trade, you know, a particular strategy, you don't have to learn everything. Just look for a particular strategy and look for those opportunities. You don't have to worry about anything else. Generate a little extra income for, you know, you and your family. There's so many different things that you can do in the world of trading. I just want to encourage everybody that education is crucial. It truly is. This is not marketing or anything talking. This is just real life. Um, because as I said, the market will be happy to teach you and they'll do that by taking all your money. That's how the market will teach you. Um, but uh, let's not do that. So thanks everybody for your time as always. Um, I do appreciate it very much. I'm very sincere and passionate about this. Time's the most valuable asset we all have, and we very much appreciate when you devote uh, your valuable time to us. We try to uh, make it uh, uh, informative and educational and uh, financially beneficial, as we did tonight with that offer. Hopefully, you'll uh, take advantage of it, and we'll be seeing you on Thursday nights in the insiders meeting. So give it a try. Thanks, everybody.